Right, so this is the Carpyroid 7 inch Apple CarPlay display, what was sent to me. It's a lovely display, 7 inches. And I've had another one sent me. So this is the Autocast. So basically it's the same thing from another company. They contacted me, asked me if I wanted to try one out. So they've not asked me to say anything in particular. They've not sent me a script. It's just going to be me checking it out. So what we've got in this one so we've got the same again we've got a display it's got a USB cable it's got the cable to wire straight to the battery and it's got the usual ball mount bracket with a u-clamp so all that's exactly the same so the difference with this screen is this is a five inch now as i've got my garmin xt sat nav i need to have this apple car plate on the side on the bars but that's a bit too big if you ask me i don't think i need it that big so i think i'm gonna go with the Autocast one, it's a bit smaller, so let's try that on the bracket. Unplug that. We'll have that there. Let's just plug it into the USB. There. Now that's a better size for me. I don't need a screen quite as big. Now I actually prefer this one. The Carpyroid one looks very modern. It's uh, it is a good display on it. Where the Autocast is more that's more like kind of looks like a Tom Tom. But the thing I like with this one compared to the Carpyroid is the Carpyroid you've got to undo the bracket to remove it. On the Autocast one, all you do is on the top. And there, that can come out. And then you just leave the cradle on the bike. What it's got on the back, I don't know if you can see. Let's go around here. Yeah. So it's got a little thumb screw. So click it in. There, that just locks it in place. So that's it. So just that little, you can probably see it there. There's a little th screw thread. That just goes into there. Then you've got a power button there. There you go, clicks in place. Should power itself on. And it should auto connect to my phone, my Apple CarPlay. All you do is you join it to the Wi-Fi on here, let it connect by Bluetooth and then that's it. You only have had to set it up once. Now this one has actually got a built-in speaker on the back where the carpet wire it hasn't. There's no external sound on that. So what I can do with this one when we go on tour, if I go back to the menu, um, car home. There, so you can put a micro SD card in there. So I could load some films on that and I could actually watch that in the hotel because it's got a speaker built in so you've got android auto apple carplay hawaii icar however you pronounce it hui hawaii so you've got the three connections you've got settings in here and the one advantage this has got which is why i think i'm going to stick with this one over the carpyroid is the carpyroid one 
what I found was I had to connect my phone to the copyright and then connect my Cardo intercom to the copyright. And that's how basically the music from my phone would go through the copyright to my intercom. But the only problem with that was I lost all controls of the buttons on the Cardo. There was no buttons would work. Where with this one, in the settings, what you can do is it's sound. There you go, sound. Switch to phone audio output. So at the moment, that is turned off. So in other words, it's saying send the sound to this device. So let's try it. There we go. So if I go back to the settings, sound effect, turn it on. What that does now, that sends the sound back to my phone. So let's try it. There we go. So what that will enable now is now I'll just connect my cardo to my phone. And all the audio comes through the cardo from the phone and then I've got all my buttons working on the cardo. So I think I'm going to stick with that one. It's not as big. I don't need a big screen here because I've got the Garmin sat-nav as well. But I suppose what I could do is I can run my programmed route on that. And what I might do is I might just use this as a secondary route. This one will probably be nice, zoomed out like that when I'm in France. So I can see how far we are down in France. But what I'll probably do is I'll probably use it to play my music. And I can play it on here. I can also use my Cardo to control the sound, skip the song. I've got my phone still. I've got my messages. That's off my tracker. No. Okay. There we go. Do you want to send a message or make a call? New message. Goose. What do you want to say to Goose Motorev? Have you had any luck finding a new bike? Your WhatsApp message says, have you had any luck finding a new bike? Do you want to send it or change it? Delete. I won't send it. There we go. So that works fine. It's all that I work off my cardo in my helmet. I've got my Google Maps. So that'll work. I've got ways. Got my calendar. I can go into the CarPlay settings. You could also change there. Can you see the little sun? There, that changes it to night mode, so at least the display is not too bright if you're riding at night. And then change it back to day mode. Apple CarPlay. So I prefer this one, so I'm going to stick with the AutoCast. So that's the second Apple Car display, Android Auto, I've been sent. It fits just nice there as well, on the bar. At least now when the bike's pulled up, I ain't got to undo the ball mount bracket on it. I can just remove it, take it with me, the same as with my Garmin. Simple as that. So that's the one I'm going to stick with. I've got a third Apple CarPlay display coming from another company, which is that one's for the car. So they want me to try one out for the car. So that'll be another video.
so there we go i'm happy with that one that one's the autocast that's a five inch display i'll put links up in the description right so i've now got my helmet on with my cardo pack torque on so let's see how this works So there we go, that's connected. So if I press play now, this should come through my intercom. Yeah. So I can operate it by pressing the screen. I should be able to operate it by pressing the card out. Yep, that's playing the music. Next song. Yeah. Next song. Yeah. So if I press, if I press this bottom button, that should be Siri. So let's try that. Hey Siri, call Goose. There you go, that works perfect. So that's the setup I wanted, but that's the setup the Carpyroid couldn't do. On the Carpyroid, I had to control everything by touching the screen. And I didn't want to be riding, taking my eyes off the road to operate this screen. So at least now when I'm riding, I can just change song by pressing the cardo, but my eyes are still on the road. So that's the one for me, that's the one I'm keeping. The Autocast 5 inch wireless motorcycle car play display screen. Oosh.